I've got nothing to say except bacon, cheeseburger, meatloaf. Oh boy. The suggestion for today's recipe came from what, La Pouf. The Pouf. The Pouf. Well, that is La Pouf in French. The Pouf. Now, I believe there was some confusion. Next month, which is March, we said is Viewer Recipe Month. And I said, send us a recipe. If we choose it, we'll make it. And when I said send us recipe, like the recipe, Max heard send us what you want us to make, which is like every day at Sam the Cooking Guy. We love the idea of this bacon cheeseburger meatloaf from the poop. So we're gonna make it. And, and because we think he got confused, and Max definitely got confused, the poof is getting a knife. It's the winner today. He's our winner today. I, I don't, yeah, nobody else look for your name. It doesn't mean to not watch, watch, because it's gonna be fantastic. Everything you love about a cheeseburger in a not bun. Oh, come on. How can you not like this? And you know what we're starting with? Because I'm making a big ass one. We're starting with four pounds of ground beef. Holy shit. Switching to what Max calls Big Blue, his favorite bowl, we're gonna put our four pounds of ground beef in like that. And now it's just about adding. So let's add. First up, four eggs. Now look, I'm making a big ass one. You could easily cut this recipe in half to make it into a regular loaf pan. But I have a special pan I wanna use, so I'm going big. You have to keep calling it a big ass one. Sorry, yes, it's a big ass meatloaf. It's four pounds, so feed the nation. You always need some kind of binder in a meatloaf and we're gonna use panko breadcrumbs, a cup. It looks like that to me. Now, cheeseburger implies to me some amount of toppings. So let's go with some ketchup, some mustard. And by the way, recipes below. A little mayo, of course. To amp the flavor, I like a little soy paste. Remember the bacon part? Oh yes. Like you, you gotta cook the bacon beforehand. If you just put raw pieces of bacon inside a meatloaf, they're not gonna cook the way you want. I need some dill pickle that I haven't cut yet. So I'll do that now. I'm not a fan of the butt ends of a pickle. Get rid of that and just cut away. Dice it up. When you're all diced up nice, in it goes. Two more things. One is a good pinch of our BFF. That's kosher salt, coarse ground black pepper, and granulated garlic to you. Last but not least, I've caramelized one and a half big yellow onions. And remember, this is for a huge meatloaf. You can cut the recipe in half for a regular size one for you. Before we mix, this is what I'm cooking it in. This is called a Pullman loaf pan. This is for bread. But I have an idea for a lasagna and I bought it and I'm gonna use it for this today. But before this goes in here, I'm gonna give it a spray because I do not want anything to stick and add one thing a piece of parchment like this if I can do this properly to help me lift it out I'm gonna cook it three quarters of the way take it out glaze the top put it back into the oven I want it nice so now we trade that for this our gloves go on and we mix remember you got eggs in here so just do a good job there you go there's an egg oh, I love this I don't think you could pay my wife $1,000 to do this with gloves. I don't think you could pay her $5,000 to do this without gloves. Well, I know it's not cooked yet, but I'm telling you right now, it smells <laughs> like a cheeseburger. And yes, cheese is coming. See, look at this is a completely unmixed piece. You gotta be vigilant and diligent. And when all is mixed, separate it in two. You don't have to be exact. And in we go, half. I'm gonna start right in the middle just to keep the parchment from sliding away. Is this the time to tell everybody that I've never made this before? Well, it was a suggestion. Mr. Poof suggested this. So sometimes you try things and sometimes you have confidence that you can make it. The goal is simple. Get this as even as you can. And that looks great. Okay, cheese time. What cheese would I be using? I would of course be using American cheese because there is no other cheese for a cheese bacon burger. So now let me just scope out what I'm doing here. These are a little bit wide, I think. I don't want any coming out of the edge. So these guys, I'm gonna do like this. Okay, don't worry, I'm gonna use the pieces I'm cutting off. So just cheese away, you're gonna need a bunch. This is our last guy, and don't forget these kids. So all the little guys will go on now. Do you remember the cheeseburgers we've done? that had cheese jammed in the middle, boys. This is basically kind of Juicy Lucy style. I didn't realize how many of these little guys I had. I probably could have stopped at four layers and would have been fine, but we're gonna be all right. All right, we glove up again, put the rest on top. And since I'm out of gloves, I'll spoon on top. 
Oh, this is going to be one hell of a meatloaf. Okie dokie. My oven's at 350. This goes in for 45 minutes. Then we're going to glaze it. I put it in the oven. I clean this up. We make the glaze. That's a bowl and here's our glaze. Instead of ketchup, we're using chili sauce and this Western style chili sauce. That looks to be yeah, half three quarters of a cup. I'm gonna give it a little shot of mustard just to keep our theme going here. I'll richen it up a little bit with about a tablespoon of tomato paste, teeny bit of soy paste again. And the fun part, apricot jam. And the apricot jam is gonna help add a little richness, a little sweetness, but also glaze up the top beautifully. We'll go like a third of a cup. And this we'll mix. There you go. That's ready to go on about the 45 minute mark. I'm not sure when you're watching this, but if it's before 4 p.m. Pacific time, February 28th, 2024, and you'd like to get your very own copy of Sam the Cooking Guy and the Holy Grill signed, click the link below because there's an online signing event that you could go to, click, get this, and it will come with my signature on the inside. Damn, what a book this is. Click below. And after 45 minutes, that's what we've got. Now, a little confession. I tested to see how it would come out and it starts to break a bit. So here's the new plan. I'm gonna gently tip it on its side, try and upend it. Actually, better plan, watch this. I'm gonna do this and then do this. Ooh. Oof, okay, well, so far so good. Do I dare? Whoa, that's a hulk of a meatloaf. Take this off. Okay, nobody move. Now my goal, all right, this is gonna make for good entertainment, I'm thinking, right? I wanna get it on that. You know when you watch those emergency ambulance movies and they take the guy from the, the ground and put him on the gurney right away? That's basically what's happening here. So this is either gonna work or not work. I it's feeling like it's not one. gonna work, yep. Yeah, you have another one of those, Stand right? by, yes, I do have another one. Okay, watch this. You know, I couldn't have just made a regular two pounder. I had to go and do something. Oh, piece of cake. So we start here on this edge. And now that it's here, I think I can remove and remove. And now we're just turning the patient over. No, nope, patient does not want to roll over. I got an idea. This has now become the top. How's that? This is always what I plan to do. Perfect. Let me take my gloves off. So now we take this and we do this. We want a little coming down the sides. The oven's still on. It's going back in. We're going to give this guy about 10, 15 minutes to firm up, glaze up, and then we'll be back. I like what it's doing here. And after another 15 minutes in the oven, look at what we've made. Busting cheese a little bit. That's okay. That's okay. Wow. That is a beast. Why did I have to go big like that? All right, here's what you want to do. Wow, it's beautiful, isn't it? I really think it is. We want to give this about uh, 10, 15 minutes now just to settle down, settle down. Then we'll cut it and turn it into something glorious. And whew, that's four pounds of meatloaf. Dang, that's a lot. It's crazy. What are we feeding a fucking soccer team? We're feeding a soccer team. Yes, that's what we're doing. Now I'm going to cut it right here and see what it looks like. All right. Mm. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. All right, so let me show you two ways I would like to eat this. The first is to take a nice slice here. Okay, it can fall over, that's fine. You want to fall over. Look how beautiful that is. Those are some cheesy bacony mashed potatoes. I'm going to take my slice like this, set it just like that. But wait, don't stop there because we give it just a little bit more sauce. And then, remember that bacon that went in it? I chopped a little bit of it up a little smaller. There's one. And now here's two. Two, we take a crispy roll that we buttered and lightly toasted. We give it two things, a little mayo and now extra of the sauce. Then you go like this. You've got sauce, you've got the mayo, and now we put a piece like this, and now a piece like this, and now the lid like this. So what's your pleasure? You want a big fat slice of bacon cheeseburger meatloaf in a bun with a little extra sauce and mayo? Or do you want this kid on mashed potatoes with a little more sauce and bacon on top? I don't know there's a wrong answer here, ladies and gentlemen. I really don't. They're both good, no. They're both gonna be amazing, but my vote is, that sounded so Canadian, my vote. Oh yeah, my vote, eh? My vote is for this one. Right here, see all the mess? Oh my God, it is so good. By the way, by the way, that, Dana, 
was for Jeffrey. Thanks, you guys. Hey, viewer recipe month. It's not too late. Give us a recipe, a full recipe in the comments, and you might win a Salmon Cooking Guy 7-inch of the Kiri knife. My favorite knife of all time.